Hey guys, welcome back to J Lake 3D. So I know you've been waiting for this project, but before we get there, I have a, another tutorial I want to show you guys. So there was a question on how do we use section view because there was a video what's the visual effects that had the section view basically move across seamlessly as if we can move it, you know, like up and down slowly. However, we can't yet do that in Shaper. So the workaround for that is, uh, well, we can either use the current body as a section view and that basically works on any flat body so we can try that it doesn't work if you click two because then single plan or face or construction plane as it says up here so a, a cool thing i like to do though is you could add a plane if you need it but I like to use sketches as plane. So what we could do is draw a circle here. And if we go to transform pattern tool, we click on that, make sure it's linear over here on the left. And we go up, let's say by 40 millimeters. And we add 10 of these sketches, right? Just like we clicked on the body, we could select the sketch, we can use section view. So for example, I select this sketch, section view, or this sketch, section view. So this is a really neat thing you can do. And it doesn't stop there. You can also take it and move it. So for example, we have this odd shape here. And let's say we want to work on the side there. It still works. Or well, let me deselect. There we go, it still works. See, we have a section view. And the cool thing about having closed sketches, as you can see here, we can now double click that and work on that as if it's a plane. So for example, we turn off the section view and we lose that. But <laughs> if we turn off the section view after we select that, now we can make some odd shapes. So this is just a trick to get around. Uh, your model when you need to there are multiple ways of doing it you can do like i said any body so there are a lot of things you can do to make it work for your benefit hope you guys learned something don't forget to like share and subscribe and yes i will still be making a tutorial for this little jeep inspired vehicle toy car whatever um uh, Look forward to that, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Here at J Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.